Now in this video, I thought I'd show you what I got for Christmas. I've been very lucky this year. Also, it's my son's birthday soon. And I thought I'd show you a little bit of me making his very special Radio Times bean bag. Now I've been falling in love with all the Del Pozo designs that I've been seeing on Instagram recently. And there was one in particular, this one here, that I fell in love with the fabric. And do you know what? A few weeks ago, when I was in Classic Textiles on the Gold Hawk Road, look what I found there! Can you believe it? And I'm sorry, but I think it is exactly the same fabric. But look, look at that fluffy mohair side. It is the same, isn't it? I think so. Anyway, I was thinking of making yet another sculptural bucket pocket coat, or maybe a cape. Maybe you could comment below and tell me, because I can't really decide. One of my capes with the sort of gathered skirty bit on it, or a sculptural bucket pocket coat like this one. Now, the other thing that I got that I really love, and I can only ever really afford to get these as Christmas presents or birthday presents, but they are so worth it, is this. This is the most brilliant magazine in the world. It's called Show Details and it's basically close-ups of the catwalk collections. So look at this. So this would be the Armani collection. So it shows close-ups of how they've done this kind of fishnet effect with um, tubes of fabric. Another one of my favourites at the moment, it's Gucci. Gucci's brilliant, isn't it, at the moment? I love it. Look at that coat. But do you know what my best ever present, Christmas present is this year, as if that wasn't enough? Now, I've been wanting this for a very long time. So there's this guy that plays the Hammond organ and Lowry organ. Apparently, he's got quite a few of them. And I went to this party and my friend cleared her living room and they had him playing in there and it was brilliant. It's sort of funky 60s sort of sound. So I asked him how much it would cost to get the license to his music. So he sent me this CD and it was very reasonable, but I couldn't afford it at the time. So I've got it for Christmas. Do you want to hear some of it? It's really nice. I'm only going to play like a little bit of one of the songs called Looking for Lazio. Can you imagine me sort of going around Gold Hawk Road in my sports car that I don't own? a sort of backing music on Stitches TV soon. Right, the next thing today is I'm making a present for my son. So it's his birthday soon, I won't say what day. And he's a mega fan of Radio Times. So from a very young age, from about four years old, he's collected the Radio Times. So in case you don't believe me, I'm going to take you and secretly show you in his bedroom, because he's not here. Look, Radio Times. Oh, I've got to move more slowly. And see this pile down here? More Radio Times. There are loads of Radio Times here. 
see look radio times oh he's also a massive fan of strictly come dancing but you see that let's take that one to the living room but on the way i'll just sneak into my daughter's bedroom see that that's one that i made for my daughter's birthday last year Do you know what I did? <laughs> oh. I took my son's head in Photoshop and I put it, see look that, over here that's Brian Cox and that's my son's head. So I put my son's head in place of Brian Cox's head because I'm going to use it as one side of his giant floor cushion. That's the back side, the reverse side. And that's the inside of the floor cushion, which I'm not gonna show you making because it's the job that I hate absolutely most in the world. Look at the mess that it makes. Those polystyrene balls are oh, honestly, seriously, I hate it. I don't think I'll ever do it again, but I probably will because I also made this one for someone as well. This print was designed by one of our talented viewers called Lou David, and she let me use the design. So when you've cut off all your um, excess fabric, keep it, because it's really handy to have velvet underneath when you press velvet because then it doesn't mark, you don't get a mark with the iron and it doesn't squash the, uh, the pile. Now I'm not going to show you how to do this because I hated doing it so much but basically it's two squares or two rectangles depending upon the shape with loads of really horrible polystyrene beans that stick to everything. So you do, it's like making a giant lavender bag actually. It's two big squares stitched together with an opening, fill it up and then you've got a hand sew or machine sew, don't try machine sew the opening. So you end up with this. Right, it's not really easy to get in, but if you just keep moving it around and shaking it, it gets in eventually. Oh my goodness, that really was hard work. I'm boiling and I'm knackered now. I had too much stuffing inside, so I just had to take out loads of stuffing. I think I might have blocked the hoover. Oh, but hopefully it's worth it because I think you might quite like it. So that was the original image. I replaced uh, Brian Cox's head with my son's head and I've ended up with this I think quite good giant floor cushion I started out with that image and I put my son's head in place of Brian Cox and oh, I think he might be quite pleased with that he better be pleased with it anyway thank you so much for watching See you again very soon, and remember, new upload days are Fridays. If you subscribe, don't forget to press on that bell, then you get notifications. And see you again very soon. Wish me luck, hope he likes it, bye.